Hey, Jay from Ecotech Marine. In this video, I'm going to show you what it will look like once we enable legacy updates in Mobius for equipment such as Vortex and Vectris. For those of you who've used the Mobius beta, this should look familiar to you. For those of you who are eagerly awaiting the opportunity to move your equipment currently running ESL firmware into Mobius, this functionality will be enabled in the not too distant future in the public app. As of now, we will be shipping Vectra and Vortec pumps with Mobius firmware on board. So look for that sticker, which says Mobius on board if you are purchasing a new pump and you don't want to have to do the upgrade later. Okay, so going into the app, you will presumably already have set up an account. If not, you'll be prompted to set up a new tank. If you have been invited to the Mobius legacy upgrade in the public app, you will be notified of that. This is done randomly and will be done in increasingly large numbers until the entire app is supporting legacy updates. If you have been invited, presumably you already have an account set up. So here we are in my Learn Mobius tank, logged in. And what I'm going to do is add a legacy Vortec or do the upgrade process. So for those of you familiar with updating or adding equipment, once you go into one of the areas, whether it be lighting, pumps, etc., you will see that little plus at the top right of the screen. Click on that and it will give you the option to add any found devices. Now, I don't have any compatible Mobius equipment here. I only have a legacy Vortex. So I'm going to click on Update Legacy Devices. And there it is. There is a brand new MP40 that is running the ESL firmware. So if I click on that, I can now add that to my profile. But before I'm going to be able to do that, I'm going to need to do a series of updates. And these updates will update the radio, bootloader, and firmware on the pump so that they all work and communicate with Mobius. So if you click on information, it gives you details about the upgrade. And if you click on update, it will do the update. So one of the critical things here as we're doing this update that I want to bring up is that it may take a couple different updates depending on what level of firmware your pump is currently running and it will also take a little while so during this time you'll need to keep your phone unlocked and near your device if you go away while it is transferring the data it will not complete the update correctly you can anticipate it taking somewhere in the region of 10 minutes per device you need to be patient Make yourself a cup of coffee, sit tight, put on your favorite TV show, and then you can sit there and allow your equipment to update. Once the update from the transfer from the app is complete, you will be told that you can leave the app. At this point, you need to leave your device so they continue installing the updates. Another thing while you're doing the update is give it time because especially with the pumps, it is not a extremely responsive piece of equipment, but it could very well be completing the update. So it may seem like it's not doing anything, but be patient. Again, the entire process could take somewhere in the region of 10 minutes. If after that time, you're pretty sure that the update process has stalled, then you can exit the app and factory reset or power cycle your, uh, your Ecotech device, and you should be able to restart the legacy update process again. While the update is occurring, you should see flashing white lights on the driver and then a combination of other colors as well. That will indicate that the firmware is being rewritten on the quiet drive driver. You can see what specifically is updating by clicking on the little plus button next to the device. That will show you what is actually updating, whether it's the radio, the product OS, or the product bootloader. You can see there's status bars. They may or may not actually reflect how far in the update process it is because they're simulated. But once they are all checked, you will know that the update is complete. 
Okay, there we go. Once the update's complete, you will get this update complete notification once succeeded. If for some reason it failed, you can attempt to do the update again. We're going to click OK. And now if we go back, we can see that the MP40 is now available to be added. So we're going to click on that purple check mark indicates that it can be selected or is selected. You can also press and hold and then you can either uh, identify, update or downgrade your MP40 from the same menu. But we're going to click next and now it is going to add this MP40 to our tank. And now you're going to be provided with a number of tooltips that will help you through the finalization of setup of your new MP40 Mobius compatible pump. So we are going to select low flow for this tank, click next. We're currently running the AB plus template on our lighting. So we will do the same on the Vortec, click activate. And now you'll see down here at the bottom, we now have access to our Vortec MP40 in Mobius under the same tank as our currently installed Gen 5 Radeon Blue. That's it. Hopefully this was helpful. Have a great day and enjoy your reefing.